The Russian President Vladimir Putin has acknowledged that China, Moscow's most important ally, has questions and concerns about the war in Ukraine. He was speaking in Uzbekistan during his first face-to-face -face talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping since the start of Russia's invasion. But he also thanked China for what he called Beijing's balanced position towards his war. Vladimir Putin is in Samarkand to strengthen ties with his regional partners. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization of Eurasian Nations has grown in significance for Russia since its invasion of Ukraine led Western states to impose sanctions on Moscow. By far the most important meeting for Putin was with his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping. It's the Chinese president's first foreign trip since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. Despite warm words in their opening remarks, Putin hinted at friction with Beijing over the invasion of Ukraine. We highly value the balanced position of our Chinese friends when it comes to the Ukraine crisis. We understand your questions and concern about this. During today's meeting, we will, of course, explain our position. Western sanctions on Moscow have pushed China and Russia closer together economically. Chinese products have replaced Western ones in Russia, while China is Russia's biggest oil customer. Xi Jinping sees the global role of the two countries going much further than trade cooperation. China, together with Russia, is ready to accept the part of great powers and to play a leading role in being a force for stability and positive energy in a world shaken by social unrest. As their leaders talk in Uzbekistan, China and Russia are carrying out joint military exercises near the Pacific coast. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization includes many of the former Soviet republics in Central Asia, as well as India and Pakistan. Iran is also due to join the talks. Turkey, whose president is attending the Samarkand summit, is a full dialogue partner. Putin is set to meet with Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Friday. So what are China's questions and concerns about Russia's invasion of Ukraine? Theresa Fallon is founder and director of the Center for Russia, Europe, Asia Studies in Brussels. I think it's important that he acknowledges that China's economy is under stress because of food shortages and increased inflation. So I think that this is kind of Putin acknowledging that. Nevertheless, they've made some really good deals because the oil uh, is discounted by about 35 percent. So China is able to buy oil at a very cheap rate right now from Russia, and that's their way of supporting Russia as well. This is a really uncomfortable position for Russia because they are starting to appeal, appear like a vassal state. They're selling energy and metals to, to China. China is clearly the bigger economy right now, far stronger, and uh, but China doesn't have that much influence over Russia. And we have to zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture. Russia, China prefers to have Russia in the tent than outside the tent, because we saw what happened in 2014 with the war in Crimea, that uh, that was kind of China's strategy for the Belt and Road Initiative. And so they realized that if they didn't include Russia, that they would hamper their efforts for their big westward Central Asia strategy. So I think Clearly, uh, Xi Jinping understands he has to work with Putin. Well, I would love to be a, a fly on the wall at that meeting mm. and know what they discuss because Putin has a very big ego. He is in, this is probably the worst optics for him, the timing of this uh, SCO meeting. So he, he really comes to it very weak after the Ukrainian advance uh, 10 days ago. So I think that uh, Xi Jinping might try to encourage him. She could, you know, play the big peacemaker if he wants. Mm -hmm. But I, it's also a dangerous relationship. Uh, you know, they are uh, share a huge border. Uh, Russia has nuclear weapons. Xi Jinping and Putin are both kind of unpredictable leaders at this point. Yeah. So I think he has to be very, very cautious and almost massage uh, Putin's ego, perhaps, and reassure him. That's Theresa Fallon uh, from the Center for Russia, Europe, Asia Studies.